So we have uh, talked about the type of data analytics. Uh, so let's talk about different type of data source. Uh, so we already we have already learned the structured data. So that data is organized in a format of the tables. Okay, and actually not all the data is organized in that way. So we have all we also have the semi structured data. So for example, they are stored in a series of key value pairs. Okay, so one example you can mention is uh, the dictionary in Python. Okay, so that we have key colon um, value pairs. Okay, that is saved in this curly bracket. Okay, uh, so that is in dictionary in Python. And actually, nowadays we have a more famous data format that is called JSON. Okay, JSON format. So that is all another very uh, popular data format. So that is semi structured data. And we have unstructured data. So that means the data is not structured in any consistent ways. So, for example, if you think about your videos, uh, your images, okay, so those are all such type of unstructured data. And also your text message, okay, TXT files. So those are all unstructured data. And if you look at the uh, uh, the percentage, only 10% is structured, like tables. 10% is semi-structured, like CSV, XML, JSON files. The majority of the data is unstructured, especially if you think about that uh, the stuff that they posted on social media, the photos that you um, you take that with your cell phones, um, the message that you send out in emails, um, in Slack channels, those are all unstructured data. And also the videos that you, t you have taken. And uh, for structured data, our relational database, okay, all our data warehouse, okay, we can handle that one. For semi-structured data, uh, we can use some non-relational database, so no SQL database. Uh, so, for example, like the document DB, um, DynamoDB, and also MongoDB. So those can be used, and also graph database, etc. Can handle those semi-structured database uh, data. But how about those unstructured data? That's the majority of data that we have, but Database cannot handle, relational database cannot handle it. Data warehouse cannot handle it. Uh, Non-SQL database cannot handle it. And that is why we have the data link. Okay, so data link is uh, used to store and also analyze massive volumes and heterogeneous type of data in a central repository. So that is the idea of the data link. So data link is the ultimate source to handle your data, no matter your data is structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. Okay, so you can store and also analyze data in one location, and you can ingest data without a predefined structure, so you don't need to define the uh, the date types, um, uh, the primary keys, uh, foreign keys, etc. So you can just ingest any type of data into your data lake. And you put your data into your data lake, and also you, you calculate or analyze your data with other instances. Okay, so the idea is that data lake is where you ingest data from multiple resources and you throw the ETL and you can put that one into either a data warehouse or you can go back to the relational database okay and then where you can use some BI tools to analyze data from the data warehouse of course you can also use BI tools to analyze data directly uh, to your data um, base but however data link will be your, sto your storage of your data and you can extract data and also aggregate data and also um, throw the result of the analysis to the data warehouse and our database for further analyze 
for further analysis. Okay, so that is idea of the data link. The solution that of the data link on AWS actually we have used that one. So that is S3. So remember that in the um, in one of our labs that we put HTML <laughs> HTML code. We also put image okay into S3 so that so S3 can can store all those type of unstructured data and also structured data. So S3 is a storage for the internet. That is a data lake. It is scalable and also highly reliable and also faster and also durable. So, so what does that mean? So scalable means that so uh, when you throw your data into your S3 buckets and when your data grow and AWS will provide more storage for you automatically and also it's very fast to retrieve the data and also it's highly reliable so that means that for every 10 objects so those objects can be images uh, html code csv file um, uh, etc the likelihood of losing one is 10 million years okay so it's 10 million years so over 10 million years you will lose one object from the 10 objects so it is highly reliable and also you can store your data um, it's very durable so you don't need to worry about losing your data you can store unlimited number of objects okay unlimited number of objects and also for single object you, so there's a, a tech byte limit so for a single object you can also encrypt your data actually on AWS all the services allow you to encrypt your data um, you can also host websites as as we just did for each single account you can create 100 buckets okay so that is uh, some basic information about the S3 so difference between data lake and also data warehouse so um, data lake and data warehouse data warehouse can store uh, only store structured data so that means um, you have to define the structure or, or your schema when you write data into data warehouse however for data lake you don't need to define the schema when you write data you just need to define the schema when you read the data so that is called a schema on read Data lake ha can handle structured and also unstructured data. However, data warehouse can only handle structured data. Data warehouse support SQL only. Uh, data lake support, uh, you can use SQL query on data lake and also you can make other type of the retrievers or queries. So not only with SQL. Data warehouse is more like for the aggregated result. Okay, so because we are joining tables and we are making uh, aggregations. Uh, for data lake, you can make aggregated result or you can just analyze the data for a single object. Okay, uh, so you can either for aggregated levels or you can analyze each single object or each single um, file that you uploaded to data lake so generally speaking data warehouse is more suitable for, for bi so business intelligence okay and we have a lot of bi tools uh, data lake is as a source that you can upload data and also it do go through etl you can load data transform the data into data warehouse our data lake is also more suitable for AI, so artificial intelligence. Okay, so for example, you can store all the images, videos into your data lake, and also you can use some AI um, tools to analyze those images and also videos. Okay, so data lake is more suitable for AI or as a source for data warehouse. Um, data warehouse is more suitable for BI. And of course, relational database is also more suitable for BI, so business intelligence tools.